Oh, that was Slayer, Raining Blood. You silly oh, guys. I was good at that. Okay. That was my wedding song. Good job, man. <laughs> Thank you. Ricky was great. First or second? Which one? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there'll only be one. Mine was flirting with disaster. <laughs> and I'm not going to say why. I like that part. Whenever that song goes... <laughs> Yeah. In the well, middle of it, you know it's 1976. You, you get married in Florida, you got to fucking roll with it. You know, just, <laughs> this is great. Ronnie, we were talking about the flutist. Oh, yeah. From the old days. The Marshall Tucker band. Marshall yeah, Tucker, Marshall Tucker, Tucker one, uh, Jethro Tull. Jethro Tull. Tull. Uh, and he was a one-legged. Right. But, and isn't it a flautist? A flautist. Yeah. It, oh, it, thank you yeah. for straightening that out. Yeah. He was more like the Renaissance Fair guy, right. though. Than uh, Marshall Tucker, which was more of let's put a flute yeah. in a country band. Oh, right. We had a whole conversation like, what does the dude from you know Martha uh, Martha uh, Marshall Tucker band do after he does his little right. solo? Yeah. Then it, what? He's still on the stage. Well, he's got a kind of. It was always like Clarence Clemens used to. Yeah, do, yeah. He never went to see Springsteen yeah. for half the concert. He's just dancing in the background until right. his solo comes yeah. up. Yeah. Then he plays. And then for some reason we all went crazy. Like this is the best Woo! part of the show. He's holding a note. <laughs> <laughs> But the Jethro Tull thing was weird because here it's a guy and he's fucking in leotards and he's playing a flute. Yeah. And for some reason, uh, you know, when he's singing about wizards and goblins and he sells out fucking Madison Square Garden. To rock guys. <laughs> yeah, right. It was like rock and roll guys. Yeah. And I'm like, we're here and we're high. It doesn't. I see his bulge. It doesn't <laughs> even make sense. You know, you tune in to the uh, 70s channel right. here on XM. Right. And uh, I listen to some of the music and go, this was rock. Right. And, and I, I have to convince myself, no, it was Ario Speedwagon mm -hmm. was rock and roll. What the fuck was going on? Well, we had Kansas with the violin yeah. for some fucking reason. Yeah, violins. Ridiculous. And yes, yes with whatever the fuck. Uh, ten tiers of keyboards. Yeah, and he was dressed as a wizard for yeah, some reason. Yeah, very like, into the whole oh, wizard. Oh, please don't interrupt me. I'm creating magic. <laughs> <laughs> just tripping balls going, this is fucking amazing. We have no idea this sucks. Yes, in the round. <laughs> in the round, man. Yeah. And the first time you cut your hair, you went, wow, our, the whole fucking age yeah. sucked. It yeah. just blew. It just sucked. The Beginning music was horrible. It was all... You listen to it now and go, but but we used to drive around with this blasting, thinking it was the coolest fucking. Devil went down to Georgia. He was looking for a soul to steer. <laughs> fucking a man, turn this shit up. Yeah, we're Sal's, cruising. Sal's gonna do it again. Yeah. yeah, I'm in Philly singing that for some fucking. Be reason. proud of your rebel. Cause Sal's gonna do it again. Yeah, I'm I'm out cruising but, fucking Deer Park Avenue <laughs> on Long Island. <laughs> <laughs> but even Led Zeppelin, where, you know, we come from the land of the ice and snow. No, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, this whole Norse Viking thing about. It's ridiculous. Yeah, well, it's yeah. just fun. terrible. It's horrible stuff. Yeah. All the, and then, yeah, all, all of a sudden, you, like you said, you cut your hair. Yeah. And then the 80s rolled around. Yeah, and thank God for thin ties. Finally, yeah. you could go, okay. Thin ties, <laughs> punk, some of that shit. Modern English. Real music. Oh, huh? yeah. I'll melt with you. Uh, Eric in Pittsburgh, what's up? What's up, Owen, eh? Hey. Little Jimmy. Hello. Hey, I was wondering if you played the, uh, My Baby is Black when all the niggers go to see Little Jimmy at the Pittsburgh Improv March 8th, March 9th, and March 10th. That you was very inappropriate. Wow. Thank you. Are you ins going to do that uh, when you come to Pittsburgh, you ins? You ins. You ins. And we got this one, too. John in California. John? Yeah, hey, little Jimmy. Yes, sir. I want to know how uh, how we can get tickets for your show in Sacramento this weekend at the Punchline. Um, do we have a, a well? Can you read it from there? Sorry. Yeah, sure thing. Just turn the monitor halfway, and I'll lean in. All right, thanks. <laughs> uh, I'm there this. Uh, I'm actually there Friday, Saturday, or Thursday through Sunday, 26 to 28. Friday through Sunday. Jeez. Nine one. How do we go about getting? Do you tickets? need glasses, Jimmy? I don't know. This Friday, Saturday, Sunday. It's nine one six nine two five fifty five hundred nine one six nine two five fifty five hundred. I haven't been there in about a year and a half, so I'm happy to be getting back to Sacramento. You're Thanks, buddy. Have a great crowd there. Let's I hope so. Let's oh, go, to Joe and Jerry. From your lips to God's ears, <laughs> Ope. Drink plenty of water. Hey, Joe. <laughs> Dehydrate over there. Hey, it's very sure. dry climate. Is Doing it? good, bro. No. Oh. <laughs> there's Lady a, died. There's a <laughs> Hold, can you call? I'm sorry. I'm sorry to call her. Wait, I, let me just, just. I'm the dumbest motherfucker on the. How do I not get that? <laughs> really? Water? Because it stunk. <laughs> no, it didn't. It was obvious and I should have gotten it, but I'm stupid <laughs> eating yogurt with fucking three flecks of this <laughs> nonsense. Uh, yeah, granola. Ah, it, it, it gives it a little crunch. You need a little crunch with your yogurt. See, this is the shit we give them, Ronnie. 
that we were talking about. Yeah. You know how we were saying you could just deliver them whatever shit whatever, you want. Whatever you want. Yeah. yeah. This is it. Later, listen to our show. We'll be talking about Fez's problems for <laughs> fucking three hours every day. <laughs> how's, how's Fezzy doing? <laughs> it does seem to be a problem a yeah, day. Yeah, this is a different problem every day. Yeah. Uh, he was hypnotized the other day. Had two fucking panic, panic attacks. Why As he was being hypnotized? One, he got in a crying jag, couldn't stop. And the other one, uh, he was hypnotized to think that he was high, and then I acted like I was calling the cops. And <laughs> that, uh, you had to get him back. You couldn't give the, him a good buzz. Right. And the, the building was breaking apart, and he literally grabbed his heart. His, he grabbed his oh, stent and was no. holding on to it. <laughs> his stent? <laughs> yeah. And we had to you, basically You gave him a out. bad trip yeah. that he was on from, hypnot from being hypnotized. Well, it's the old coked out trick. I don't know whether you uh, sat up all night all coked out with your friends, but what? one night, uh, yeah, it's a stuff. terrible thing. But one night, we're all locked in this fucking hotel room and somebody said uh, wait who's missing and it was the scariest <laughs> <laughs> fucking thing that ever happened to me because I mean we're like eight hours into this and as you looked around it just felt like somebody just slipped out to fucking call the cops oh shit <laughs> of course to call the cops and then you try to figure it out but there's no answer because it's the answer zero yeah. you know that would make a great movie right yeah. there and I think it was Jimmy Schubert who said it. Uh, who's missing? And because he, he was always the scariest, we used to fucking you know call him people because he would just sit there. Oh, all night. paranoid guy! Yeah, had a, like a little red ring around his <laughs> eye all fucking night long, just <laughs> looking out the window. We had a guy. Uh, we we were in uh, Green Lawn out on Long Island, and little house off the main drag, and that's where we used to you know just fucking coke. Oh, it was always oh, terrible stuff, kids. Don't, don't make don't ever do it. Don't make you a bad person. Don't ever do. No, it doesn't. Uh, and every. Every car that would come off the main road and turn, the headlights would move across the wall. And this guy would jump up and look out the window because he was sure yeah. it was the cops coming. But this time, coming it's to the that. cops. This time, and I mean, it was a, the it was I know a main the last road and the times guys. It wasn't, but this time, <laughs> so, it ain't cops. yeah, it would happen. I, I swear to you, fifty times a night, right? I, I fifty times, and he would jump up fifty times. A friend of mine, we were, and it was in the middle of the day, and he's looking out the window. And he goes, Are "Those cops," and I look out, and it's fucking little kids <laughs> jumping up, <laughs> and I go, uh, "They're little kids," and he goes, "They're not midgets." I go, fuck no. The co this is not enough coke for the FBI to hire midgets for this and teach them the jump rope for some sting that they're setting up for us. It's a fucking eight ball. Let's just finish it and go on our way. Yeah, there's so much coke going on. They got to bring the midgets yeah. in. But just I, in case. But, uh, you know, it's such a terrible thing to be into because I could never go to sleep if there was any left because it just felt like you're setting yourself up. Let's just finish this fucking half ounce. And how much would you have that you could even go to sleep with any right. left like there was it was always finish it yeah. and then look for more right that's how the entire <laughs> night went finish it oh fuck where are we getting more and you know uh even if you had some and then your friends went, you're getting calls at five in the morning oh, what yeah. are you doing just get the fuck out of here please daylight hours yeah just just calling us say hi <laughs> yeah, right. yeah what really? are you up to oh yeah we had a guy come to my door once and just started banging on the door, and uh, he had a full water jug full of pennies and, like, nickels, Yeah. and he's carrying it in, and we're like, what What are you doing? He goes, I just, just need a half, man, just need a half. Goes, well, we can't take that. I'm not going to take that to the bank. You know, he goes, what do you want? We want paper money. Paper money is what we want. Take it back, <laughs> roll it up, bring it to the bank, whatever you got to do. They'd come with shit, really, like like you, you, you think it's a joke, but they would come with shit they stole. Ridiculous stuff. A blender. <laughs> like like they just look around their fucking parents' house and go, oh, fucking blender. Nah, they're not, they're, they're you, you they're know, not gonna miss this. We, uh, you know what a bottle club is? They have them up here where it's down in Florida. You yeah, actually yeah. sell the bottle. Right. You give the bottle to the and then they don't open up till like three in the morning. We fucking wander in there like quarter to five in the morning. And fucking trade uh, like uh, half a fucking eight ball, and we were carrying two fucking shotguns and fucking traded them to the bartender. So at the time you're it's wired, the wild west. You walk in with two shotguns, going, "This is going to go over well," and then you just see every other person think, "This is it. This is the fucking murder going down." <laughs> but your mind is so far gone, you don't even realize no. how antisocial you're behaving. Right. You walk in into a bar with Let me talk to Daryl. Yeah, okay, man. We'll fucking get him Coming for you. Coming right out. <laughs>
How long since you did coke? Uh, it's been many years, many, many, many years. Many. Small, so small. I'm all fucking fixed. It now. was the law in the uh, 80s and 90s, and oh, really, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, no. and really the early I was part in a of different the different precinct. I guess. Early part of the millennium. Yeah. And yeah, thank God for the new century. But I'm much like yourself now, Jimmy. I'm totally cool. fucking sober. Much totally. Like you. Yeah. Oh. Totally. 100. percent I won't even have fucking cough medicine. Yeah, because well, you all, all fucking Buckley's. T it, the, their motto is it tastes awful and it works. No yeah. alcohol. You can take it. it oh, yeah. But even if I pick up the taste for it, I'm just like, whoa. It's like oh, a near really? beer for me. I would never even have a near beer. Too no. close. Yeah, it's just too alcohol close. in it, too. Yeah. Is near there? Beer. Yeah, yeah, like just a teeny, teeny percent. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's a tiny it's a relapse. <laughs> Billy Staples uh, drank 14 cases one night. <laughs> it's not working. <laughs> <laughs> What's up with him? Yeah, where is he? Uh, I, I heard, like, the end of a phone call. Uh, I think it was last week. He called into the show? Yeah, he... Living with his mom. Yeah, he's back with his mom. Oh, jeez. And he, I guess for the new listeners, uh, Billy was part of our program, part of Robert Fat Guy program. When he was with Fat you. Fat Guy. His yeah. name is Fat Guy. And then he was our producer for a little while. He, uh, after Fez and I left, he kind of fucking, you know, started partying again. And I guess... He doesn't even remember doing it, but he fucking took off in a car, somebody else's car or whatever, and hit a telephone pole without ever hitting the brake once. <laughs> so shit. he's got like some serious brain stuff. Uh, for Get out of here. Yeah, but for whatever it is, he can't even come up here. He can't be above the first floor. Wherever he goes, he can't. If he goes like even to like third or fourth floor, he gets real dizzy. So he can't walk up steps. And wow. He can't take an elevator. He's fucked. Yeah. It's all from a head injury? Yeah, basically a head or injury. Or you think it's just in his head? Both. Psychological? Yeah, there's yeah. lots okay. of stuff. Yeah, but yeah. he gets a lot of... He's had a lot of operations and shit, too. Wow. Yeah. But he's doing wow. good. Still with uh, air sick. Still do you... doing air sick. <laughs> right, yeah, air sick. Some of the uh, fantastic air sick songs. That's terrific. Live on in my memory for forever. Uh, what what about now today? I know is uh, Oscar uh, day. Uh, yeah. The announcements. Are you going to have Paulo uh, will Polo? be uh, calling us? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh. And he's got a new movie. Uh, he he of course directed this himself. Yes. And uh, we're was putting... that uh, is that going to be submitted for yeah. next year? Uh, we're going to have a premiere downtown. We'd love for you guys to come red carpet. I, I would go. absolutely. Yeah. We'll be there. Paulo production. How could I miss it? It's called Gap. And yeah. uh, I believe people like No Filter Paul have uh, got some parts in it. Yeah, got Ooh. some parts. Yeah, it's pretty amazing stuff. I heard um, the shooting schedule it was it was like Apocalypse Now. It took uh, yeah. how long? Almost three days. Almost three Almost days, three days. <laughs> to uh, film. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> Eastside Dave shot his scene by himself. Somehow he, he couldn't make it. Wait, there. not even a cameraman? Yeah, he had to hold the camera and choke himself. <laughs> and Paul L and he's fucking serious as a heart attack. Oh, yeah, I he can't said, wait to see this. But here's the weird oh, thing. Paul shit. O, with that same crazy chick, 30 years. Yeah. Oh, yeah she they're over. It. Paul O's with a listener now, moved in with her. He actually finally left that crazy woman. Yeah, he left her. And hooked up with a listener. Yeah. Wow. What are some of the things you've done to Paulo? Wow, uh, he's years. tattooed all over his body. He's yeah. been branded. He's uh, the branding went kind of bad because as he was leaning over, I went to brand his ass and I caught the nutsack, ah. and uh, that put him in the hospital. <laughs> oh, unfortunately, <laughs> yeah, uh, freezings, yeah, mass freezings, and back. You know that's why I could not attack that uh, Sacramento station. I yeah. fucking. Under, I, How I many like times? At least a million times. There, but for the grace of God, <laughs> right. go I. Yeah, because well, everyone's uh, uh, pointing out that a nurse called in to warn them. Yeah. How many times have you been, you've been warned? You get the call. Well, every fucking time That's you do something. And, and yeah. you're like, oh, I could kill up. people. And you say, shut up, you kill Joy. I'm having fun here. Right. Well, we did a drinking and chicken eating contest in Florida with Paulo and um, the guy who went on to become Don Vito, Vince Margera. And uh, Vince is a fucking animal in real life. He's just, uh, you can't, he's unmanageable. He's unmanageable. My brother just wrote me an email and said he was in uh, one of the casinos in Vegas. My brother's in Vegas. Yeah. Uh, at one of the shows and started groping one of the showgirls and got ushered out of there by security who was like kind of beating the shit out of him as they were throwing him out of this place. Yeah, I've known this guy forever. Forever, and he's always been fucking. In, uh, well, he drinks so much, and then we put him in the limo to go back to his hotel room, and he's with uh, some fucking kid with six fingers, and uh, Don Vito he throws up. Well, the kid pushes his head back so he doesn't throw up on himself. So now he's throwing up in his uh, own throat, 
and nose, he can't and he's choking on it, right? So I, you know, we finally finished the show. I go home. We were doing a morning show at the time. I get a call. Uh, Don Vito's in the hospital. I go over there. The doctor meets me. He's in a deep coma. Uh, we check. Jesus there's no Christ. brain fucking pattern whatsoever. <laughs> there's no. Shit. There's nothing to the brain. <laughs> so I'm like, oh my all God. right, what does this mean? He's not coming out of it. He's brain dead. He's you know Kathleen Quinn. <laughs> Shit. So I'm like, well, this fucking is going to blow up and look ugly, you know. I got to call his parents, his little Italian parents, <laughs> to let them know their maniac son is brain dead. And they're like, and I'm like, yeah, I'll fly you down here. Oh, my God, how could this happen? I go, I don't know. I guess he was drinking. I don't, you know. Oh, I'm on. No. Make him believe he never did your show. Yeah, just uh, whatever yeah. you can do. And I, I'm in his hotel room. I mean, I'm in the hospital room as I'm making these calls. And I'm looking down, and I just see these really ugly shoes that he has that are all filled with puke. <laughs> you know, no one even cleaned it up. And I'm like, this is the end. I'm losing oh, everything. Shit. And at some fucking point, he just sits up like the Undertaker. He just fucking sits up in <laughs> bed, Undertaker. starts screaming, you know, get these things. Get the, pulling wires. Yeah, he's pulling wires out. <laughs> right. And he's yelling at the doctor, you're ruining my vacation. <laughs> Fucking runs out with his ass Holy out. Holy shit. Fucking bare ass runs out of the place. Good for you. Then I got to call the parents back. Uh, remember <laughs> I told you that your son was kind of in a coma? Well, he's wow. not. Wow. Yeah, don't worry yeah. about that. Yeah. Uh, that's really funny. But radio, uh, everybody's done that. They're fucking yeah. terrible. The things Plenty of times could have gone wrong. Yeah. Gone another way. Someone's dead. You're done. So many so, times yeah. it could have went right. Like you yeah. don't go to a phone call in a church. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Could have yeah. done better. Exactly. <laughs> Things happen. But they were—they they weren't like a shock show. They're right. Not like a shock jock show. They're one of those fucking. They got the hole. They got the two guys. They are the cutesy morning they show. They got their battle the, of the sexes. Yeah, yeah. They got every day. They do the same thing. Advice Tuesday, day. Wednesday, well, Thursday. You know, I watch you guys when you did the MSNBC thing. Oh. And I was completely falling for it at first. And I said, if I was, what are they, the Catholic League? <laughs> the way they're fucking... Exactly. How could this happen? The last thing <laughs> I wanted to fucking do was be one of those assholes that comment on someone else. When we sat there and watched right. other people commenting on us, we're right. then going to do that? And you don't start that. with a roundhouse. You gotta, you know, yeah, right. You gotta, but it was fucking hysterical. Terrible, but I'm sorry. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> and, you know, I was thinking, you probably didn't think you got enough lines off at the top. And yeah, and, no. That's I what know, I, exactly. They were coming so Grr. fast and like, furious. God, I could have just <laughs> fired off another one in between there. Grr. Like, what, what do you think? Grr. Grr. <laughs> And then she just kept going, yeah, yeah, uh, Opie, uh, yeah, right. let me ask you this. Well, you were blathering about these weird... You were tying it in vaguely. <laughs> With nothing. I know. Very vague. Doctor. <laughs> Do I, you talk to your doctor? <laughs> you know, they should have talked to their doctor about... It's like, why Why is he talking like that why? all of a sudden? And what's the Frankus... The <laughs> Ramon and Frankus show? Maybe 83. Maybe nap today. <laughs> Fix 83. And then she goes... And then I, I, as she started talking again, I had to go, yeah, and, uh, you know, they got fired. Yeah, and she goes, yeah, uh, let, let go. Opie, um, what? <laughs> like, she had to sum up what I was saying. Shut him up. It was very funny, though, that you picked 83, which is just an awful year. <laughs> of course. It's a terrible random year. It's 83. Just, yeah, 83. 83. Nothing My memory of 83. 83. The Ramon and Franco show. <laughs> Killing, uh, uh, Figs in Chicago. The Nagel, the Nagel boy. <laughs> hey, guys. How you doing? Hello, yeah. Figs. What's up, Figs? Hey, uh, I want to let you guys know that you're getting uh, written up in textbooks, college textbooks. Oh, yeah? For what? Yeah, for... Uh, well, for your sex for Sam thing, the uh, the textbook talks about how you guys got one of the biggest fines by the FCC, and how you guys are the first popular uh, jocks to go to uh, satellite radio in 2004. What, what textbook you. is that? Yeah, yeah, what book is this? That's the weird thing. It's a <laughs> math book. <laughs> it's written no in the back. There's no reason for it to even be in there. <laughs> no, it's in a uh, mass media communications book. You guys got a pretty oh, big. That text. sounds like a great class. Wow, that's cool. Mass media and communications. Yeah. That uh, yeah, right, that gets Matt. you right into yeah, radio. When they get that degree, you'll get us water later. <laughs> <laughs> it could have actually been in a math book. Their salaries minus my salary equals their salaries. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I shouldn't laugh too hard. Yeah. Oh. <laughs>